Black Citizens Forum, Daybreak Show, Rock City 101.9 FM, Tuesday morning. Yes, we will um, again go into the ruling party at the federal level of Progressive Congress as promised. Uh, we told you, Network permitted us this morning. I will be speaking with the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Malam Bolaji Abdullahi. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, welcome to Rock City FM. Good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, now let, let's have your opinion on the congresses so far held by your party. Well, um, we believe that uh, the congresses have gone very well um, across the country. Uh, in all the 36 states of the Federation, we believe that the Congresses have gone very well. Of course, of course, unfortunately, we have issues in a couple of states, and we are also some of them not really bad, which is quite regrettable. But in our general assessment, we believe that the Congress have gone very well. As from today, we begin to get uh, reports from the Congress committees and from the appeals committees. So we'll be able to deal with all that and um, of course you know that next, this weekend we'll also have the local government congress, the state congress is coming up. So we believe that so far it has gone well, it's the first major test for our party and we believe that we have um, scored a pass mark. Malambolaji uh, Abdullahi, would you say that with the hesitation that the NWC had as regards conducting this uh, Congresses and of course uh, the convention that is also coming up. Do you have any regrets uh, for having these congresses? No, we don't have any regrets. Um, don't forget that initially, some people have pushed for us not to have uh, the congresses because they have the concern that the congresses will generate to some of the kind of situation we are seeing. Yes, but I don't think. Uh, they should feel vindicated or take any or take any pride in what is happening. Because um, I believe that we probably in retrospect I believe that we needed to put our party through this uh, very difficult time. You know, and that's how we will know where the issues are, where our work where we still have to where we still need to work um, harder uh, to, to strengthen our party. Yes, there are issues like, like I said but I don't think we don't have any regrets at the party level. We believe that it was a necessary test. It is a difficult test, but it was a necessary test. You know, and we believe that, uh, yes, we, we may not have performed excellently, but I think we have done uh, rather well. Now, uh, talking about major uh, political tests in the election for your political uh, party, obviously there are some states that are still deep in rancor and division and they are regarded as major states for you in the southeast in particular where the party is believed not to have a very strong footing and of course in Kaduna where the governor and all the major leaders particularly elected officers are also uh, in different camps how do you to intend to resolve this so that it won't further spill and become a tumor. Well, we believe that uh, these issues, you know, political party necessarily exists for the for moderating divergent interests. So we believe that some of these issues are necessary, and they are natural. I mean, some of these issues are natural. But uh, as a couple, we deal with them. We know what to what we have to do ahead of next election. I mean, none of these uh, disagreements that you that you have uh, highlighted, uh, none of None of them is personal. Um, it's, it's all happening, it comes with the political terrain. So we believe that as long as it's about politics, our party will have the capacity to win in and resolve some of these issues ahead of next year's election. Do you not have a date for your national convention? The national convention will be coming up on June 2nd. June 2nd. Are you recontesting? Will I have recontesting? Yes. I don't want to tell you because that's personal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, before, before now, uh, the Hula Baloo 
that uh, the issue of tele extension generated almost uh, uh, mad uh, the the reputation of the party APC. Uh, talking yeah. about talking about uh, the uh, position of the chairman Chief John Odigio Yegu, it appears it has been settled. Is it true that uh, Chief John Odigio Yegu will not be seeking re-election at the convention? Um, I don't know if he has uh, announced that himself, but I know that it's possible that he will not contest. It's likely that he will not contest. Is it true that uh, the former governor of Edo State, Governor uh, Adam Sweshemole, is uh, the favorite to clinch the party's uh, chairmanship ticket? Well, uh, uh, Mr. Adam Sweshemole is the favorite to clinch the ticket? Yes. Well, I mean, I cannot begin to tell you about favorites. All I know is that he has declared his interest and will wait until June 2nd. Uh, no one else has declared. So no, no one else mm. is. No one else, in the best of my knowledge, has publicly declared that he was. He wants was to president. contest. All right, yeah, but I know that he has uh, declared. So I, I would not be talking about favorite. I would only be talking about the so far the only aspirant that I know, the only candidate that I know. But at this time, when uh, the party is. Uh, trying to manage its intra-party uh, uh, issues and ahead of uh, a general election. Uh, do you see Comrade Adams or Shomole as a, a good candidate that can galvanize all party members, unite members to chart a common front to win elections for your party? Well, maybe you will need to direct this question to his campaign manager. I mean, I work at the end of UC and I shouldn't be seen to be to be to be sharing this kind of views uh, openly. Okay. I have my opinion about Governor um, Adam Oshoma, the former governor of the state. He's someone I have tremendous respect for. Uh, but I don't think, regarding his ambition to be the national chairman of our party, I don't think it would be right for me to be making the kind of remarks that you are asking me to make. To make. Okay, good. Let us look at some of the issues of your party state by state. Uh, the Imo State uh, Congress has come and gone. And it has thrown up more bitterness. Uh, the uh, the governor of uh, of Imo State is uh, uh, breathing fire and uh, brimstone, threatening to pull down the NWC and expose the chairman of your party, uh, Chief John Odigo Yegun. Uh, how do you intend to resolve this? Well, I mean, like we said yesterday, if uh, Governor Kocha of Korocha has problems with uh, people in the state, he should go and resolve his problem with them. We should not press his frustration on the end of UC. And he should stop threatening to expose anybody. If he has anything to expose, he should just go ahead and do the exposure. I mean, he doesn't need to threaten anybody with exposure. If he believes that there are things to expose, he should go ahead and expose. So the question is not about this. Nobody has any problem with this. He's one of the leaders of our party. But as we keep saying, you don't continue to disparage the people because of your personal interest. You don't continue to attack as passion on the leadership of your party because your interest is just being served. We are not from Imo State. We don't vote in Imo State. So if you go and settle this problem with these people, end of you say, so end of you say does not have any problem with it. So if you go and sort out this problem with these people, but you continue to make the kind of wild allegation that you've been making is is regrettable. Now, Malabilai, how worried, how concerned is the NWC near your party about the threat of the new PDP? Threats? I'm not aware of any threat. Well, that they are going they they issue that to pull out, term, anyway. that they want to pull out of the APC. They did say that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I um, report this morning, they even said um, the former governor of Nasarawa State um, I think we'll be visiting the party secretariat this morning to say it's not part of the threat. I'm not aware of any threat. I read that letter. I can't see any threat anywhere. So maybe you need to read it again. That they will be I'm pulling not, out. But, the but they, they, by issued, they, they issued an ultimatum. Uh, sure? They issued an ultimatum that you address these issues. Uh, so they are you sure? That's but the interpretation of the letter, sir. That's your own interpretation, and your interpretation is not correct to the best of my knowledge. Okay, okay what is your interpretation? Are you worried about uh, the letter itself? Are you concerned? Look, we don't have any reason to be worried about any letters. 
if a factor in a marriage is coming out to say, I'm not happy with this, let us discuss it. It does not mean that that partner wants the marriage to collapse. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. To the best of my knowledge, in my reading of that letter and everything, I, what I can see is that those who have written the letter are saying that we have this complaint, we have this issue, let us put them on the table and discuss. So it could be that they actually want to strengthen the party rather than saying that they want to pull out of the party. For me, and that's the interpretation we are giving it at the end of the UC level. Then for those who came uh, yesterday and said that they are not part of it, it's also within their right to say, look, these people purported to have acted in our name, but we are not a part of it because we don't share their grievances. It's also within their right. That is democracy. Okay. Again, uh, the bad concern I'm worried, the APC lost some local governments in Kaduna State. Uh, did that uh, bring up any signal? Negative signal? No, it doesn't bring up any signal. I mean, it's a local government election. We don't, uh, we don't think it has consequences for us. Um, we won the uh, majority of the local government. Uh, I think 16 out of 19. I mean, that, that's that's more than excellent in any, in any context. So there is no reason for us to be worried about anything. Well, when you look at it from the point, uh, from the viewpoint of the fact that the Northwest Zone is the strongest political base of your party and the. I'm sure uh, I'm sure, I'm sure if we have gone out and won everything, 19 out of 19, you see people that will say again that we are for threat of position. We don't allow them to, also, uh, to operate. We read the election. Now they want three. You are saying that it's an indication of our party not meaning everything. So for me, 16 out of 19 cannot be an indication of anything uh, negative. 16 out of 19 is excellent. So losing three out of 19 is not a problem at all. Okay, now, Madam Bonaj Abdullahi, uh, let us. I know you are very active on social media, and so you've been monitoring events on social media and the new media at large. Uh, a lot of angry Nigerian youth are frustrated and they are ventilating their opinions about the performance of your party, and the verdict is not suitable. The verdict is not uh, that pleasant for your party. Uh, what how do you intend to reach out to this uh, teeming youth population as regards regaining their confidence and, of course, uh, uh, canvassing for votes ahead of the 2019 election? I mean, don't forget that naturally, government is always an object of protection. So, it's easier, that's why it's always easier to be in opposition. If you are in government, any problems that uh, people encounter, they will naturally direct them. I'm not saying that our government has done everything right, but I think there's so much that we have done right as well. So, uh, we, for people who say that we are uh, on the social media, yes, social media has become an aggregate indication, or uh, an indication of the aggregate perspective of the points of uh, Nigeria. But there are so many other Nigerians that are not on social media, so I think it will be difficult for you to make your conclusion based on what you see on social media. For those who are on social media, even with their only two people, their voice is very important. And uh, at the general political party, we cannot ignore any votes. But what we are saying is that we cannot conclude, based on what you see on social media, that the generality of Nigerian youth are not happy with our party. I don't think so. For those who are not happy for one reason or the other, I believe that when the issue they are not happy about is addressed, or when the issue they are not happy about are addressed, uh, they, will, they, will, they will come back to us. So they will bring our party. So I don't think, in any case, the 2015 election, it was not a unanimous verdict. It wasn't a situation where every Nigerian or every Nigerian youth voted for our party. So we can't expect that 100% everyone will support our party. But for those who have supported our party or those who believe in our party and that we have uh, done things that they are not happy about, of course we have a responsibility to, to continue to address those. And for those who did not support us, we need to give them reason to continue to, I mean, to begin to support us. That's why what you are saying is significant. But I don't think it's that indication. That uh, the Nigerian youth are not uh, are not uh, happy with that. Now, still talking about information dissemination and uh, management, man, I have to lie. This may not be directly about your party, but it's about the executive arm of government. Many pro APC 
have said the way the information of the performance of the executive has been managed calls for questioning that is below uh, average, not encouraging, and therefore they are part of the problem why people are not appreciating what this government is doing. It appears there is um, a misunderstanding, disconnect between those who are managing the uh, information from the executive arm. Um, what do you have to say to this? Well, I think, I think those who are, I mean, the people managing the information from the executive arm, you know, and um, the staff the additional, and of course, by extension, like Eli Mohamed, I think they are doing a fantastic job within the, the limitations that uh, they, are, they are confronted with. If you have had to operate within government at that level, you know how difficult and how complex it is. What appears straightforward uh, to anyone looking from the outside is not so it's not so straightforward when you are operating at that level. So I understand the challenges that they face, but I believe in spite of that, they have done they have done excellently well. Uh, the point is that those who will not be swayed by any argument will not be swayed by any argument. Uh, there are those who are neutral and they just want to be given reasons uh, to believe. And I think for those ones. Uh, we work, can only continue to, to work hard to, to talk to them. But for those who are against you, there's nothing you can do about it. For those who believe that you have taken their pot of soup, there's nothing you can do about it. For those who believe that you have taken them out of jobs, there's nothing you can do about that. There's nothing you can do to impress them. You know? So, and also, let me also emphasize that when you are in government, and that's why we call uh, something honeymoon period. Once the honeymoon period is over, People will begin to see things differently. They begin to see things that they, used, they, they were not seeing before. People want results quickly. Those results are not forthcoming. They begin to criticize government and, uh, and all that. So that's natural. And I think anyone who accepts to serve at this level should expect to be criticized, to be uh, to face this kind of scrutiny that we are talking about. But everyone will continue to do their job. I believe those gentlemen you have referenced are doing their job. You know, so um, and I believe at the end of the day, uh, Mr. President, who appointed them, will be satisfied with what they are doing. Uh, Manabulaji Abdullahi, before the 2015 elections, uh, former President Olusha Gabasujo was uh, designated the navigator of the APC. Uh, he has since uh, uh, fired salvos at uh, the incumbent president and, of course, uh, rubbished the efforts and achievements of your party. And is now navigating for another party, ADC, uh, after starting a movement called the Coalition for Nigeria Movement. Are you perturbed as a party? And uh, is your government worried about these uh, moves by the former president? We well, have discussed this on several uh, platforms, and I don't think uh, I don't think uh, there is anything to worry about uh, as far as our party is concerned. We take note of the concerns raised by the former president, who, of course, who is an elder statesman. Uh, it's very important that we listen to voices like that. But to say that is a uh, reason for us to be worried or to say that it's not a barometer to measure the direction of Nigerian politics, I don't think would be wrong. I don't think would be right. I mean, at the end of the day, this uh, elder statesman will have their, uh, their views, and I believe they may well for Nigeria. And I also know that they are concerned about some things. So, but having expressed those, uh, government will respond accordingly to the issues that they raise. But to see those as an indication that, um, okay, Nigerians are going to pull away from, the, from, from our party because some individuals have pulled away, I think we'll be exaggerating the level of, um, of implications that such, such a kind of, uh, such kind of position taken by a former president Malabulajabdullah, before we let you go, millions are listening to you right now. If you were to appeal to Nigerians uh, as uh, regards how you want them to understand the plight of the president, of the government, and your party uh, with a, a move or with a bid to actually uh, appeal to them, uh, 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 looking ahead at the 2019 elections, uh, we give you that platform to do so now. Thank you very much. I think I would just say, what I would say is that Nigerians should please bear with us. We are aware that there are difficulties, but the commitment that we made to Nigerians uh, a little over three years ago, about three years ago, 
still remain top of our hearts, whether it's at the level of the President or his ministers or at the level of the party. We believe that the change that we promised is still germane and we will not abandon it, whether at the level of uh, fighting, fighting corruption or at the level of uh, creating employment or improving the economy or at the level of stopping terrorism and all that. So we believe that those promises, we will continue to push on those fronts. Yes, there are difficulties that some of them would not anticipate, there are challenges some of them would not foresee, but we believe that Nigerians should still continue to have faith in us because we are still the only credible alternative for Nigeria, credible choice for Nigeria. They know why they rejected the other party in 2015, and those reasons that rejected them are still relevant. And also, we want to plead with Nigerians to continue to support our party, to continue to support our government. And we believe that in spite of the current difficulties that we're experiencing, uh, Nigeria will come out, come, come back stronger and uh, better under the APC. All right, thank you very much, Malam Balaji Abdullahi, National Public City Secretary of Progressive Congress, for joining us all the way from Abuja. Thank you very much, my pleasure. All, the time. Thank you. all right, have a wonderful day, sir. Thank you, you too. Thank you. All right, you heard him. A whole lot of things have been said. Uh, he was actually also a former minister of youth sports and social development, Balaji Abdullahi. Well, on the cries from Mimo State, from Governor Rochas of Korocha, he's there. The governor, go on, go and expose whoever you want to expose. Declare it open, whatever information you think you have. Stop uh, threatening us. That's uh, the position of the party through Malam Bolaji Abdullahi is only trying to blackmail members of the NWC. For his own ambition, he said he does not want to release it now, whether it will contest or not. But for that of Odige Oyegun, is sure that Odige Oyegun will not be Secret. contesting. He yeah, will not be contesting for sure as we speak. One candidate is the only candidate they have, at least officially and formally, the former governor, former Labour leader, Adams or Shomale, who may eventually automatically become the party's next national chairman. For the threat letters from the new PDP, one of the coalition that eventually emerged as APC, he says, well, it's not a threat. They are not. They don't think they want to pull out. They are aggrieved. They just want the party to discuss with them and that they will do. Well, uh, a whole lot of things again from me for the loss of local government in Cardinal State. Northwest Nigeria, very strong catchment uh, area for APC. He says it does not mean anything. It's democracy and really uh, for the first time a party local government election winning more than one and he said, well, it's the same you people that will say <laughs> But that actually, it's, a, it's, un, it's unprecedented, mm -hmm. really. Uh, of course, uh, opposition have won some a few councillorship seats and at least one local government uh, in some state. Ogun State is also not left out in that, and some other states. But winning about four, more than one or two local, more than governments. one or two local governments, yes, that I is unprecedented. Yes, and yes, apart yes. from that, they used electronic voting both for the uh, election proper and, of course, transmission. Of the results. So every voter that participated at that uh, election had the result printed out, uh, just like you have a printed out receipt when you use uh, a POS uh, machine at a, at a store. Uh, and then they had that before they left the polling unit. I think we should be looking at that, even though INEC is saying that will be uh, impossible for 2019. But we should look at what works and perfect the system and see how we can make it better. All right, that's uh, what we'll be looking at this morning. You've heard uh, the uh, National Publicity Secretary of uh, the APC appealing to Nigerians. Let us hear your own verdict. Do you agree with all that he has said? Whatever it is, let us know. The numbers to call remain 0809-868-7344 and 0909-146-967. Uh, sorry, there will be a slight change in those numbers. 0909-868-7344, yes, but you add this new number. Those are the two numbers we'll be using this one. 081 seven two one zero five five zero two yes we'll be using those two numbers zero eight one seven two one zero five five zero two and zero nine zero nine eight six eight seven three 
0244-2244. Yes, uh, for the WhatsApp page, just join us. Let's get engaged, get involved in the discussion. And of course, the short code number remains 32120. Again, 32120 for the short code uh, method. But it's important that you type R-O-C-K before you type your message. That's the first thing you do, you type R-O-C-K. And of course, our Twitter handle is at City. FM. Let's get engaged. What are your reactions? Let's get what you think. We have somebody. Yes, we do have somebody. Okay, it's a drop call. Again, 081-7210-5502. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, good morning. My name is Abbas Ali Thank you, sir. Sorry, Godfrey, you can. Hello, next call. Good morning. 0909-868-7344. Hello. At 081-7210-5502. Hello, good morning. You are morning. on, sir. Morning. Yes, morning, sir. Morning, Mr. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Toby. Good morning. I'm listening to you. And uh, this Ab Abdullah, I don't know what good. Uh, yeah. And then I, I just want to comment on Nigeria media. And I, I believe all the people are going to be in the day. For instance, the media in Nigeria is doing this. In the last four years. That's why. He tells you that you are doing uh, half, half trick, the concept of that letter, which he said you have not even read. So I think, I'm just very depressed that they should do better <laughs> for that Lord that book last two weeks. And the first people are saying that he said, first of all, I'm having to understand. The woman had to come and... Only that he concentrates in the book. done better than the Nigerian press. That I ask anybody to challenge. The facts are there from the colonial days to the military morning. era and to this democracy. Hello, morning. Morning, Gilly. Good morning. Morning, Toby. I'm Cal the Olumide yes, good from Abekuta. Good morning to you. Uh, I was brought to, for you to have um, brought up uh, Olaji Abdullahi, the MPS or whatever, National Public Secretary of APC. You see, he said, Things have gone very well across the country concerning the congresses that were held. But on every area of civic or political or governmental economy that these people have failed us, let us turn around the game now to make sure that we have a third force, a political party where we have young ones, people of intellectuals, people that know how to manage time and resources. Not people that have man the mismanaged resources and then start to beg a gate that people should forgive them. What kind of forgiveness do you think we can forgive all those people that have caused this nation a lot of wounds, that right, have caused you. this nation a lot of losing and uh, uh, not letting. You see, I believe that uh, we are not serving us uh, if people of greedy and greedy politicians will want to come again to set All right, thank you. You got two minutes yourself, sir. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll move on. Add your voice to this. Yes, sir. Hello. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Toby. Good morning, Billy. My name is Paco from Achiro. Good morning. I listened to Balaji Abdullahi and I was refreshed this morning. He spoke with candor. He, 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 he knew what he was talking about. His language was sweet. I said it was beautiful. That is what I want to listen to. I want political parties. Not the, you hosted some two people from one party. I don't want to mention the name. And they were fighting in the studio. They could not express themselves. This is what we want to hear. The man said, we are not safe. We are about to make mistakes. He said, where is the credible alternative? I'm tired of being told that uh, your, your 
some use uh, utopian use somewhere to come in and uh, thing we should find them and where are these youth? Are those the ones sleeping coding inside the toilet? Is that the one we are talking about? I, I digress. I think it's not for us to leave sentiments. Let, let's say the truth. This is the authentic time. We cannot go back to our vomit. Our vomit with PDP. We are talking as if we have not been in this country for 16 years. We saw what other people did. I'm not trying to say this one has done everything very well. But it has problems. The external reserve is the highest there was ever born. They might come out of a recession. The external reserve of Nigeria, it means they are not still The money will come back. It will be used to pay salaries. It will be used to pay fisheries uh, uh, and what have you and what have you. Give them a chance. This is what we've got. And they are moved. People coming out to criticize themselves. It was no family affair again. When you commit an error, it's family affair. No more something like that again. It's no family affair. This is what people coming out to criticize themselves. See and see. But um, I am very satisfied with my life and the fact explanation. And I think other Nigerians will be satisfied instead of hiding on that. If you have any problem with any particular country, with Governor Bogu State, because you pay your salary. It's a different thing entirely. You All right, thank you, sir. Hello? Okay, thank you, sir. Your two minutes. It's of good, good. Yes, morning. Oh, Mr. Tobi, I'm Paula Uladi. I'm quite from Basala. Observation from the interview. The man you interviewed was blunt, or tried pungent and stiff from the earth. And he not tried to hide anything. At the point, he said, this is democracy. That's what an open democracy, an open democracy should be. And if he did it. I also believe this can be patterning as part of internal politics in the APC. Then you are free to change your mind and let your grievances are easily. This law is permitted by the end, or the rating by the youth, or the Russian or the social media. How do you deserve that deserve of that? The social media is not everything. Not that the majority of those that totally exercise their franchise, except for those workers, you know, artisan businesses, are not usually on social media. Also, about our youth or on social media, how many take the vote on to perform their franchise in voting? On the performance of the media is, I believe they have been doing their best, then additional and uh, galva. They have been holding their heads in the face of the weather of opposition and bad trade. And in all, I believe the present federal government under Bwari should be recognized like its word and enough of this bad body here and there as if the country is cascading. Thank you very much. All right, uh, thank you. Two zero nine zero nine eight six eight seven three and zero eight one seven two one zero five five zero two the two telephone numbers being used this morning good morning good morning you are on air your turn to speak let's do this hello thank you sir good morning Mr. Good morning hello good morning hello. good morning your two minutes yeah, is big counting time. big time. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to Election before for good four years, and we have become a senator before. And at the same time, for eight years, and he's doing his state bad in know, this year last year. Is he not a good? We should stop telling people that he, he, someone is taking codeine or whatever. But the major bank one is a huge. That's impossible in that issue, and then that's from PDP. We shouldn't try to say because of we love us at particular party, we want to have him and condemn other people. We only want to get people that get the answer. PDT is still there, being an alphabet. The number. The people inside are not defecting from each other. So that's why I'm telling you, we shouldn't try to fool ourselves. The man has said what is right. During the time of Jonathan, people lost him so much, he wants to die, he didn't win the election. Yes, <laughs> people lost him so much. It's too tough, I think we should. I'm a nice person. All right, thank just you. one call for this segment. Just one call, but keep uh, sending those messages. 32120, that's the short code. Our Twitter handle is at RoxyTFM. You are on, sir. You are on, sir. Hello. Yo, hello, good morning. Yes, morning. Yeah, good morning. Give us your hello. name. Your two minutes is counting, sir. Okay, good. My name is Sulu Ashiambala. Yeah, regarding 
should be done. Yeah, how we suggest you should be patient. Yeah, we all know where we are coming from. And compare where we are coming from from to the present government we have on the streets now. There are two different things. I'm not soliciting for any government, but we should compare the past and the present. Okay. All right, one call more. Let we can still squeeze in one call. We can squeeze in one. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Let's have your own voice. You are on, sir. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. This is Alan I'm calling from Abeokuta. All right, thank sir. you for calling. Well, um, the last speaker I've just spoken, we need to read along the line and we need to compare notes. We need to see what the truthfulness and sincerity is all about. And we need to define our way to that way. Where are the youth in the past years when things are going wrong? Are there no youth in the past administration who have squandered this money? We watch a clip where somebody was showing drunk in the celebration of his bad day. That person was a youth. He has in Ghana enough intelligence to have diverted that money to something that will be useful for Nigerians today. Where are those youth? Under what platform are youth coming up now to survey the situation we have? A ocean, a house was not built in a day. We need to go undergo some steps uh, 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 before we can get it. And so the know we no okay. We have to complain. And we have an agenda somewhere. We have some people who are creating some agenda for us to follow. I don't think we'll get it right. We need to get it right now. And we don't expect miracle to happen overnight. That's the problem of Nigeria. Everybody is asking miracle, miracle, miracle. No miracle to happen overnight. It cannot be. God does not work that way. You have to suffer for something. You have to sacrifice something before you get to where you are going. Our destiny is very near. And we need to make that sacrifice to get our destiny right. We want, I want to ask conditions. So when they are planning... They should go beyond their selfish interest too. They should command the masses and they should put something that is meaningful on their table to serve the masses. Governance is about service. All right, Remember thank you. Thank you, sir. The two minutes. All right, we will have to go to break now for the national news at 10. After the national news, we will come back and continue with your calls. And you can keep sending your messages to 32120. All you have to do is to type ROCK, R-O-C-K, leave a space, type your message, include your name, and send to 32120. At ROCK City FM is the Twitter handle. Stay tuned. We'll be back. The APC will stand as one. Many of the inter-party crises will uh, be resolved. The appeal committees have already started receiving memoranda and, of course, uh, or petitions, as it were, and they will definitely resolve all the internal issues. He also said that they are not perturbed about uh, the letter or outburst of former president, Oloshegu Obasanjo, saying that uh, we should not uh, um, overestimate the political cloud and relevance of this ex-president. I believe that Nigerians who necessarily may not be on social media to ventilate uh, or to attack or criticize the government will actually vote them back in 2019. What is your own take? That is why we are here. Let us know your thoughts. Let us uh, have your own opinion and which you can do that in four different ways. You can either call our studio lines 0909-146-9670 and the alternative line this morning is 0817 Two one zero five five zero two. This alternative line is only for this morning. Uh, please don't forget zero eight one seven two one zero five five zero two and zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. You can also reach us via the short code three two one two zero. Or you have to reach to type row, leave a space, type your message, include your name. And send to 32120. Our social media platforms are also available. At Rock City FM is the Twitter handle, and Rock City FM 11.9 is a fan page on Facebook. Please turn on the volume on your radio set when your call is very, very important. Hello, good morning. You are on air, yes, sir. Morning. Yeah, yeah, good morning, Billy. Morning. Good morning, Toby. Good morning. I have one I'm calling from my uh, I think it was a little bit of a program that day that I said 
this issue of the uh, SPC congressman that we are talking about and just being uh, overblown. Uh, there is something special in what happened in those exercises, those exercises are political. And then I think that uh, Malambala just like reiterated what I said, that politically in the short, they, they have a team committee and they are going to submit uh, a petition and all that to a team committee if it's in short. Uh, that, 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 that is that. Uh, secondly, I, I think I want to give it to that party too, that is JCC. Why? They, they, are, they, they know they came on a change matter. And they, they believe, they also know that people so much believe in them in 2015. They still want to, to, to uh, uh, put people into a corner that people will say, ah, oh, this is APC you voted for and all that. They are still managing their crisis. You, you, you had him. When he said, Uyibu oh, is not contesting again. Because Uyibu has seen the, the handwriting on the wall. Rather than for the man to be causing crisis in the party, he said, I will not contest. And we are, we are only, I uh, had a, 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 a only uh, Shemole now. Uh, contesting for that uh, position. It means, at the end of the day, it's most likely that the show will be going in, uh, into that thing, on the phone. And that will reduce crisis that would have, that would have occurred if three, four, five of uh, APC members uh, would have contested for that election. So, so, so they, are, they are still trying to manage things. Last year on Kaduna Matter, uh, I think this is a popular report in Nigeria, and I've been saying it. That some of the people who have been saying they want to contest for government, they want to contest for Nigeria uh, president. Especially president, if they get there and go put uh, some of our problems to them, some of them will just say uh, that, that is Nigeria, or some of them will just say if they encounter the problem we are facing. Hello? Hello, uh, hello. Is... hello, hello, let me quickly hand up. Yes, now, please now, do. What I'm saying, yes, what I'm saying in essence is that we, are, we, we can see what they will fight did in the casino. Some people will still blame him. And they are done well. Some people have been talking about oh, change has not come. They should come out and applaud that man. All right, they thank you. That change pattern and they have done very well. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Thank All you. All right, thank you for your contribution. Yes, you are on. Good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Thank I'm you, sir. I'm Prince Ojo. I'm speaking from Official Kori here in Abekuta. Sir, uh, you see, what we want is good governance and not rich brain story. Nigerians are tired of ego better, ego better. The main reason why we voted was to do, do away with the old order. Nothing has changed. How long have we continued to wait for this change? It, we, these people are, innocent people are slaughtered in this country. It's alarming. Nigerians, we should not pray to God. It was godly people. For godly people to come on board, we are fed up with this propaganda. Morning. Zero nine. Somebody, good morning. Yeah, we have somebody on. Hello, sir. Hello, good morning. All right, you can try zero eight one seven two one zero five five zero two. Or zero nine zero nine one four six. Good morning, nine six seven zero. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Just a good morning. Good morning. This is Taiwan. I'm from South Kona area. Town. That's nothing to worry about. That is I repeat. That's nothing to worry about. You see, is that the first time this sort of thing happened? It happened when PDP was in power. But who are there knows what to do. Everything will be settled. They just uh, somebody was saying uh, this is not the thing uh, we are visiting. Uh, uh, it damage and it damage the economy. I mean, we repaired within within three years. It has been damaged for almost two decades, twenty years. We want to be repaired not for years now, just for the years now. What are we talking about? This government in town. That's right. Boko Haram has been degraded. The charity has been tightened up. And the killings 
and you can't do that with this government. As a, uh, uh, I mean, government, who are the government? If the police is to wake up and deal with this supposed government, they were attacked in Kogi yesterday. Let the IG wake up. Deal with this government. Who are the government? All right, let's take one call more. We'll move away after that to check the messages. Hello, sir. Hello, good morning. Sir. Thank you, sir. You need to speak up, please. All right, Prince Akin Konya. Akin Konya. Okay, your two minutes counting, sir. Now, you have tired of Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your two minutes. We'll move away from the telephones. Let's check the messages, please. All right. Let's start with the short road messages. Uh, this one is from Oburu P from Ilibero. Nigerians should be patient with APC for them to rebuild Nigeria. And this was a greedy politicians are everywhere, but we still have some that are good. Whatever the name political party is, the interest of the masses is for them to do the right thing and be patriotic to make the country better again. Have a nice day. That's coming from Messi. Uh, <laughs> Ujambi from Ujimango, Okiata. He says, uh, to be told Dr. Tom come to leave uh, his profession and join politics. If he so desires. <laughs> Politics is not for the likes of Dr. Hong Kong. <laughs> all right, Kichiko Lisa says, First of all, let me sympathize with APC for not knowing where they are heading to. Ubala Jabala is here to answer the question. The gentlemen of the press through our team. If nothing is a threat to them, then let them go back to bed and sleep till 2019 Eve. You must understand that Nigerians are bigger and wiser than them now. I always laugh when some people talk on this radio as if they are not Nigerians. They want Nigeria's problems to be fixed in three years. Is that possible? It's no. That's caller from Abel Kuta. All right, uh, let's take um, the tweets now. Samuel Oluwolaju says, uh, the same way we have irresponsible youth is the same as irresponsible elders. As is to choose the rightful one to just to suggest that youth like Faladurotoye should arrest uh, are the same as those that take couldn't diet in the toilet is not fair enough. Uh, Yemi Da Vinci says, How can Bulaju Abdullahi say with clear conscience that the World Congresses were a success when there were reports of injuries and fatalities? Imo State is a comedy to me. What happened there would have happened in a southwest state where a senator from another state wanted to be governor. If not for peace meetings before the Congress and their bodily on visit, it would have happened. Sakara Man Olayode says, We shouldn't bother ourselves. Let, old, let the old ones, young men and women, get their PVC and do the rightful thing come 2019. A great nation deserve good people. All right, keep tweeting at Rock Today FM is the Twitter handle. Just uh, tap Rock, 
uh, ROC gain in the space, type your message, include your name and forward it to 32120. That's the short code. At Rock City FM remains the Twitter handle. Let's go back to the call 0909-146-9670 and 0817-210-5502. Hello, good morning. Hello. You are on, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, my, my name is Kazim Otoloji. I'm calling from Abekuta. Uh, I want to advise the Hynek. If the type of uh, electronic uh, machine that uh, uh, has been used in Cardino can be used in Anoshuste, at least we will start getting uh, good Nigerian. Yeah, we will start getting the try. Let us destroy that machine there. Let us see the outcome of it. We will see a transparency and good election. In the issue of the uh, world uh, well, yeah, it's crazy in ABC. I've been saying this for a longer time on this program, you can recall, that ABCP are the same. It's only alphabetic now. You can only identify individuals in each party that is performing. None of them are different. In fact, if let's continue with the, the, the government, you will see the government will soon know. It's just a few, you said it, you said it. You said it. You say there are some places where they manage their crisis, but that doesn't mean the crisis is not there. It is there. I had you in Syria today. The crisis are still there. But they are to manage to keep it. But if you keep it open, oh, oh, they are so open it. And you see the end of the result of it. So my own advice to I make, let them use the electronic machine. So we can let them take choice in that two states. So we can get better Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you too. All right. You are the next person. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, please introduce yourself. Your two minutes is counting. Hello. Can you speak up, please? I said my name is John. Okay. Yes, and I'm in Kimosa area in Abekuta. Hello. Kido, your two minutes is counting. We can hear you clearly. You're on air. Your two minutes is already counting. Okay, what I want to say is that I want to believe that we Nigerians should not forget that we stood to hold our honor and glory together. If we look back at the earlier days, what happened in the past, with the difference in tribe and religion, there was unity and Nigeria was a better place. I remember back those days, my parents used to say, they beg people to go to school. As you are in school, they give you school fees, they pay for you, they give you milk and give you a lot of things. They take you after school, they give you a car, they give you a job. Where did all those things go to? Is this not the same Nigeria? What is happening? We, the youth, should sleep on what we know is ours. We should wake up to it. We will keep dreaming. We will live a life of dreaming. God bless Nigeria. God bless you too. Zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero or zero. Somebody is there, yes? Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's my time. It's my turn to speak. This is Allah by John. Um, good morning, Toby. Good morning. Good morning. Really. Yes, it goes, does. It is easier to say than to act. What takes uh, 17 or 18 years uh, to build corruption in Nigeria cannot be expected to be cleared within the well rather than being a future critic let us continue to pray begin to pray from now on for god's intervention i know in a way the lord will answer our prayers and give us a new change a new horizon and new freedom thank you and god bless you Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Hello? Yes, you are on. Good morning. Hello? You are on. Can we talk, please? Good morning. Okay, let's check out the next line. Somebody is there. Good morning. Good morning, you. Thank you. Good morning. 
Good we morning. We can hear you. Thank you. I am Mr. Ola Kelani calling from Kuto. <laughs> I think MPC is still in. still in back. I can't understand that there is no political party without its own internal crisis. What they are experiencing in APC now, I think, is my particular And those trying to destabilize the party are those, some of, some of those who, most of them, have joined, some of them that joined, who joined the party overnight. And also, those who destabilize the party from outside the party are those who, who are desperate to defraud the nation. To defraud the nation through receiving contracts, which are uh, contract awards, which Mr. President does not want to allow. So they feel the best way, the best thing to do is to really destabilize the party. I mean, those of them that are forming all this coalition A, coalition B, and so on, they forget that this will not end the country. And I want to warn any people. That Buhari is the only is the person really keeping the party together. Is a man that is ready, who is ready to find the nation selfless party. The one with him, I'm warning APC, APC will destabilize. So they should keep to Buhari as our next president. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you to you. I will move on. Three two one two zero for messages. Hello, somebody is there. Good morning. The short code message goes to 32120. You just need to type R O C K. Yes, your turn to speak. Good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name I'm Custom from Bolo Mori. Uh, uh, I believe these those people that are saying uh, that bad all of us to get our PG period and be fine. We are telling you before. That the president has nothing to offer. Not people that not of us have been here. The same now, so that that now is here is for. We can now witness because we now can see and judge. After the training, we want to come back again. Complaining of the old age, we do not push you. We don't push you. Look at it. If we are, we are not. We are not moving forward. We go backward. People are stopping. Killing continue. Everything else, economy is not education is poor. Health is no that to be found. They, they want us to continue to be found. Please, I advise all of us to go and get our business and put the let the man rest. Have nothing to offer us. Have nothing to offer us. So this year has been about one year plus. We just have one year plus. This is just about twenty around and then four months or five months. What is in the and the other one uh, appointed, they are completely the one with it, looking for the right candidate. Because so they don't have anything, they don't have any of us to offer. Everybody try and go get this thing, and then let them let food right in. Thank you. Thank you for your position, for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. This is Emmanuel from Ayeto. Um, I want to talk about one thing. Any time I talk about one thing, I want to put you. Any time I talk about you, go. Ah, hello, 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 Nigeria. Is all okay? <laughs> Good morning. Next call. Zero eight one seven two one zero five five zero two or zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. Those are the two telephone numbers in use this morning. Of course, our Twitter handle is also there. It's Atrocity FM. Atrocity FM. You can also use our short code for you want to do. Hello, somebody. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Because you see, the one. We have serious of nothing since the session. Please fill up 
What else can we not talk of? People say that it is the PDP that joined them that is uh, castigating this government to be doing wrong. It's great enough to know that those who are not, uh, had left, we have to think twice. This government has nothing to offer us. I must comment. And to the best of my knowledge, every. Hello? Hello? Yes, please, you may begin to wind up. Yes, I said everybody should go out and get their PVC. All right, thank you. And vote whoever they like, irrespective of any political party. Thank you. This Minister. government has nothing to offer us. Zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. Keep tweeting. It's at Rock City FM. And of course, our messages are welcome on our short code. Three two one two zero. That's where you send your message to. You have messages. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Who's on the line? Yeah. My name is Adeni Yankitola. Okay. I'm calling from Ikoro, Lagos. Hello, sir. We can hear you, sir. Yeah. I want to plead with Nigeria. This country, we are just so lethargic, gullible, and I don't know whether I can say those that. And the proverb says, cow does not know the value of his tail until it's cut off. This country has been so much battered by the past government over the period of 16, 19 years now, running. And we are expecting a missile to come within the, no, no, this little period of one and a half years or thereabouts to fix everything. Even the, the Israelites, when they were liberated from the Egypt, they were wandering in the wilderness and they were so patient. The ones that were not patient were terribly dead with by God. And I believe, I pray that will not be our portion. We should just give this man time. This man is dying because of us. You know, and yet we are not appreciating him. When are we going to appreciate this man? You see, when he, you know, uh, he's done with his uh, tenor, and one terrible man from somewhere comes again to continue the loot, I pray that will not be our portion. I want to pray with Nigerians. Let us be patient. Give him time, and he will, he's going to surprise us. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yes, next call. Let's attend to you. Good morning. Somebody, good morning. Yes, you are on. Okay, you can try again. We just lost that call. You can try again. Somebody, yes, you are on. Good morning. All right, let's. Uh, good morning. Yes, good morning. My name is Alaji Ayonoga Power. If a father boasts him, that he has 100,000 100, naira in his bank account. And his children back home are suffering, dying of hunger. And he's still boasting that he has 100,000 naira in his bank account. How will you describe that, uh, Father? My prayer to Almighty Allah is to please and the solution reign in this country. People are suffering. All right, let's uh, take a short code messages and uh, the tweets, and then we'll come back to the calls. Ikechuku Lisa says, Thank God that Oyego is not a recontesting because he's the cause of all the crisis rocking the party. He's a leader who always did dream dreams, a leader who cannot take responsibility of his followers, a leader who had caused the party more harm than good. He is a shepherd that cannot hold the sheep in order. So what are we talking about? He should go and rest for the sake of democracy. All right, uh, there's a tweet from billionaire G. Shafe. Politics in Nigeria is big, B-I-G, meaning bedfellow interest group. Let me quote Alaja Yonuga Power, Bogomo Sene, this formula may not work. PDP plus APC equal ADC. Same none, I mean same. 
James Ajibale says some people speak with passion in support of this failed APC government, probably because they desire political appointment. Ori Yamiolale says APC promised us and gave it to us, otherwise a disobedient IGP will not still remain in office. Headsmen will not continue to kill without being labor terrorists, and only Christian Dabchi girl will not continue to keep faith with Boko Haram. In fact, the list of their change continues. Rahim Wasiu says some people talk on radio as if they are the ones who give others money to make call on radio because the way they talk or command others is nasty. We don't have to be on the same page. All right, that's why Rahim Wasiu. At Burapo says, how can someone say there is no big deal in shooting and killing during the APC primary? Uh, people should know that their love for APC or Buhari is no more than a person's soul. Don't let our sentiments override our love for humanity. Please take note. Suraka Tabiodo says, you better correct your colors. What does this, what do they mean by saying Buhari is dying because of us? It should be rare. Buhari is not serving Nigerians for free. And if he is tired, he is at liberty to resign. So nobody should say that here. All right, that's Surakat Abiodun. And I imagine opinions. We can disagree, but don't throw punches and don't throw jabs. Let's take this uh, comment. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's take the calls first and then we'll come back to that. Hello. Hello. Uh, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Toby. Money. I'm calling from the People's Parliament in Abelkuta. I, I just want to quickly say that, you know, we uh, all just need to be careful. Let us have our PPC ready to my team. Uh, let everybody make his or our mind. We need to make up our mind. From Obas Venture to Jonathan, I think it's unfair because. So, are you reacting to the interview we had or something? No, 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 other? not to the interview. No, not we want interview. reactions to the interview with Bolaji Abdullahi. I don't think he talked about blaming. Uh, anyway. Well, if that is uh, according to what you have just said, uh, and um, the interview between you and the Bolaji of Iman in the APC, all we need to do is that uh, he has spoken his mind. He wants us to few reasons with this government and go with it. But one thing that I want to appeal to them is that they should stop this blaming case. Let's move on. People who vote for them will vote for them. But to keep shifting blames on others is not helping anybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So do we have another caller? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, can we check messages? We have messages in the box while we are waiting. Call zero. Okay, somebody is there. Please. I am here. I am here. Good morning again. Morning. And I will continue to say God bless all of you there. Thank you, sir. I remain Jim Wakel from the ATM of a boutique. And here is better. A couple of uh, days back, I asked you. Uh, what we call a mole in Lagos. And I want to believe we didn't know that time you have found out now. Buhari is like a mole driver with so many kind of passengers on board. We have the, the, the Palaga seller, the drug seller, the, the, the and, and, and more important, Buhari has, uh, I mean, uncommitted conductors that will not call it, it's a general to stop and drop passengers. I will pick passengers. Understand? Why is the only one? I'm saying it loud and clear. I have passion, I have, I have sympathy for APC. But, like uh, they say on the street, they are falling hands. They are falling my hands. What is there? I mean, what, what, is, what is in governance? For crying out loud, loud, loud. Governance is not, is not. Okay, sorry. If you put somebody in position and it's not discipline, you shut up and put somebody in the back. We are over 200 million in this country and we are saying you cannot people who are people around this country. I will accept that. Under this family, we are killing ourselves, like I said yesterday. If we kill ourselves, we are going to go to, 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 to present over. 
Let's get serious in this country. Let's do the right thing in this crime. This is God. has blessed us with all we need to make the good country. Let this go. I do the need to. There are countries that they don't have half of what we have in this country, and they're surviving. They think it's a country. Japan. Japan is living for time of nothing. And Japan is the most, I mean, the most developed country on the on the of the earth. My people, let's get serious. Good morning. All right, thank you for the contribution. Uh, let's see if we have more tweets, actually, and then wrap it up with the, uh, the messages. Okay, uh, let's go to our WhatsApp uh, group. We have this posted by Wahid Kodri. I refuse to deceive myself. I cannot expect a country that was seriously damaged, looted, and almost killed for 16 years to be fixed in three years. What is important for me to note is whether the present government is moving at all or still stagnant, but I can see they are moving. Road and other infrastructural projects are being undertaken throughout the Federation, including our Lagos Otter at Begota Road here. I know we will get there. I don't expect everyone to be on the same page with this government. At least those who have been troubled now, those who have been troubled now to return our looted money will not be happy with PMB and they will want to deploy everything to destabilize him and paint his government black. But Buhari will succeed by God's grace. I thank and appreciate Governor Erofai for being a true Democrat and courageous. This will be the first time another position will win more than a local government in that kind of local government election in the country. Even the man should be commended. All right, thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, somebody. Hello, you are on, sir. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Hola, Hima Shahu is the name calling from the uh, Thanks for having me. Uh, quite interesting submission from the French head of the poll. And uh, it's quite a healthy development, I must confess, for our job. Uh, let me quickly appreciate Malambola Giatulai. His finesse, his brilliance and his intelligence. The quality that one expects. I'm talking about his delivery submissions and defensive acquisitions from here and there. I think the lesson we have to take away from all this is that the gladiators should wake up. The people should wake up and do the needful where and when necessary. I want to appreciate all for the joint effort to make sure that our democracy continues to grow. Thank you very much. And obviously, that's the last call for the day. Can we wrap it up if you have short code or messages? Okay, in the absence of anyone to appreciate everybody who has been a part of the, this morning via all the uh, means of control. We'll continue to talk. We'll continue to get ourselves engaged in national tropical issues as a way of ensuring that we also be a part of that change. Daily Ayodo. It's my name. I say God bless you all. God bless Nigeria and God bless Rock City. And I am Toby Joseph. Have a wonderful Tuesday.